people call the 48th Quadrennial Democratic National Convention to order. This is a convention unlike any other. The coronavirus pandemic means the entire audience is virtual. But the goal, to build enthusiasm and rally the party faithful ahead of the November election, remains unchanged. 263 votes for our next president, Joe Biden! Democrats are presenting Joe Biden as a safe pair of hands a moderate who can appeal to voters across the aisle with his decades of experience. Internal party divisions which marked the 2016 DNC have been put to the side. They've been replaced with a united front. And it has one objective, to remove President Donald Trump from office. Whenever we look to this White House for some leadership or consolation or any semblance of steadiness, what we get instead is chaos, division, and a total and utter lack of empathy. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Trump golfs. His actions fanned this pandemic, resulting in over 170,000 deaths. The open condemnation of a sitting president is a break with tradition but it is the strategy the Democrats are pinning their political future on. The White House's response to the COVID-19 crisis and the Black Lives Matter movement has shaped the Democratic platform. Biden and his vice presidential running mate Kamala Harris are offering a complete break from the Trump administration. We're gonna get to work fixing the mess that President Trump and Vice President Pence have created, both at home and abroad. The U.S. has the world's highest number of coronavirus cases and deaths. If elected, Biden says the top priority will be addressing the health emergency and its economic fallout. Masking, clear science-based guidance, dramatically scaling up testing, alongside policies to change the healthcare system, combat the climate crisis, and creating a more equitable economy, a pillar of the Biden-Harris platform is to address long-standing racial inequalities. We're experiencing a moral reckoning with racism and systemic injustice that has brought a new coalition of conscience to the streets of our country demanding change. When it comes to foreign policy, Biden's plan is to undo Trump's America first approach. In essence, returning to the diplomatic style of past administrations. Prominent Republican Colin Powell described Biden as the commander in chief the US needs. With Joe Biden in the White House, you will never doubt that he will stand with our friends and stand up to our adversaries, never the other way around. If elected, an experienced hand would be returning to the White House. It's just a question of whether Biden's style of leadership is what voters want. Natalie Bohanan, The Newsmakers.